Hi guys, my name is Abe Cortez and I'm with Team Runshy and today I'm at Fifi Sports Piper's Alley location and I'm here chatting with John to try to get some little bit of information on winter running and I'm investigating uh, some traction tools that I can use for uh, my runs when I'm out there and it's snowing and it's icy on the roads. So John, uh, tell me a little bit about some of the tools that are available here at Fifi for winter running. We have quite a few. So the first option you want to address is the shoes that you're wearing. So you want to have something that's going to be protective. And not all of us have the luxury of going out and finding a Gore-Tex shoe like this with Brooks. This is a Brooks Ghost. And it's got Gore-Tex, it's got a Gore-Tex booty with it, which protects your foot from, you know, water, the elements, of wind, and everything else. Uh, it's not completely waterproof because if you do step in a deep enough puddle, the water can go inside the collar of the shoe. Uh, but this does give you some element resistance. Now, a nice yeah. merino wool sock is also good for that. So if you get a merino wool sock wet, it's not going to feel cold around the foot because it keeps that barrier of air between your foot and the sock. So it's a really good step. It's you know, the sock that you put inside the shoe. Now, outside the shoe, we have this here as a yak track. This is a traction device. It's a cage that goes around your shoe, kind of like chains on a snow tire, right? And what this will do, this will enable you to run successfully on icy, slick surfaces, hard packed snow. Uh, and you know, the reason we found this to be very effective is that you can run on the pavement with this and it doesn't affect your stride. The casing is actually rubber. And it's the same EVA rubber that the shoe's made of. So it adds actually a little element of cushioning it also gives you the traction of the metal cage. So it doesn't obstruct your stride at all when you're running. Yeah, yeah. There is, you know, it's a little bit debatable. So we tell people, you know, try not to run more than like six, eight miles in something like this. Okay. Now, if you think about it, if the conditions are bad enough that you need something like this, you probably shouldn't be running more than eight miles anyway. So just keep that in mind. Now we also teach good form running classes. And it's really important this time of year because as you're running on slick surfaces, you do want to change the way you strike. You know, without having a heavy heel strike, you're less prone to slide. So what you want to do is shorten your stride up and land more underneath your body and get your, your center of mass over your foot strike. And that makes you a lot more stable. So John, tell me a little bit more. Are there any other elements here that I can look at uh, in order to improve my winter running when I'm out there? You talked about having a good yeah. solid shoe, the yak tracks, the, um, uh, the socks. Is there any other things that I should take into account? Well, on the yak tracks themselves, you know, we found the Yak Trax Pro to be the best for running because it does have the strap that holds it on. You know, there's other models out there that don't have the strap, and uh, let me be honest with you, we've collected them on the lakefront path because uh, they do come off quite a bit. Uh, some other, you know, useful tools for winter running, definitely hydration. Because, you know, obviously all the water fountains that are out there are shut off in the winter months, so bringing water with you is a very good idea. Uh, there's a really cool new item from uh, Nathan called the Vitaman. The Vitaband holds all of your um, your medical history on your wrist and your contact information. So if anything does happen to you while you're out there, they can look at that you know, right away and identify you. It also has a debit card function attached to it. So it works in a cap. So let's say you go out for a run and the conditions change, get real nasty, or uh, let's just say a wave hits you while you're running along the lakefront. Never happened to me. Never happens to anybody, right? So then what you can do is you can actually jump in a cab and you have the money on your wrist and you don't have to worry about carrying a credit card. With you. So that's a really cool, really nice safety feature to have along with you. Right. And also, reflectivity. It gets dark early and the sun doesn't rise until about 7.15. So having really bright, reflective clothing is essential around the winter. Excellent. But well, there you have it folks, uh, John giving us some great tips on winter running at Fleet Free Sports. If you have any other questions, make sure that you take check us out on the uh, Run Shy blog. And I'll see you guys on the social media highways. Thank you. Thanks, John.